name's Jimmy Varis. I'm 32 years of age. I'm an ex-pro motocrosser. First bike I rode uh, was when my parents uh, migrated, brought us over here to, to uh, the U.S. from Finland. And, uh, super cool parents, I guess, got me a bike at four and a half. And uh, shortly after, when I was age five, I started racing. Had some success right from the beginning. I won my first race, so it was kind of kind of fun, you know, from there. All motocross is uh, the best sport that I've found. It's it's man and machine uh, to its fullest. Uh, very exciting sport, but uh, there's people that you know die doing it um, those are the risks to any reward as far as anything goes one time I broke my jaw pretty much ate my bars and uh, shattered both my condyles and then the bottom jaw went through my mouth broke my back twice and uh, the last one that kind of took me out of the sport shattered my tailbone broke my uh, L3 vertebrae compression fracture they actually didn't think that he was uh possibly game and walk but Jimmy uh, had uh, had some damage to his spinal cord <clears throat> and, and uh, luckily enough Jimmy uh, was able to feel everything and uh, he was uh, still walking when I heard you know how severe it was I definitely didn't want to go for a third time and uh, in the sport of motocross you got to push yourself so hard I that's when I hung it up Jimmy is not one to ask for help I think it was due to the, the Finnish uh, mentality and ideology of Sisu. Uh, Sisu is a term we use in Finnish to uh, explain uh, one's determination to go beyond their means to achieve uh, such tasks. What I do with my life now is uh, I manage a, a motorcycle power sport called Burt's Mega Mall in Covina, California, and uh, keeps me connected to the sport itself. Everybody has to find something to uh, enjoy and, and relate to in this world, so I think that's one of the things that keeps them going. I'm real careful when I'm out there now, having fun, but uh, I still got to do it. I got to get a fix, I guess, of, of some sort to, to feel motocross in my veins still. 